I know the difference in between the member states is still uh, exist and it's not acceptable as we do have the common uh, agreements in the legislation that by the end of the year 2020 each country should have at least the test sites for the spectrum uh, given to the 5G and it is important to me that this regulation is followed as we need no one and no area lag behind or left behind also in the 5G era and it is the part of the digitalization we need to have every country on board. We need to speed up the slowest one. Um, 5G is not today making the big difference, but tomorrow it is. And that, that's why I'm curious to see the tests that uh, are developing uh, innovations and then creating new possibilities using 5G. And the very important is the energy efficiency, the smart cities, but also the e-health that uh, uh, can be developed. So I have in mind the, the broad uh, policy aims that Europe has set, the Green Deal, and then the social Europe and, and well-being of our citizens. So everything should be built on this uh, inside and then give solutions. And 5G is a deliverer. So it will uh, be uh, affecting a lot our societies very soon. To have the multi-actors or, or many players at the same place is always an opportunity to learn. But it is utmost important that we have the European ecosystems. So it's not one company, two companies acting, working separate. Uh, having then the legislators, administrator, but then also uh, companies and innovators on the same room. It, gives the eco it paves the way for the European ecosystems that I think is the core of the digitalization and our future.